Hi, welcome to the very first episode of Remote Year Fireside, a YouTube series to show you what it's really like to live within Remote Year, where you travel to 12 different cities during 12 different months. Our first guest here in sunny Croatia is Jess Bores in the Sonder Group. She's a 27 year old in advertisement, works as a media planner from Atlanta, Georgia, and this is what she had to say. Over 50 strangers picked to travel the world for 12 months to 12 different cities. This is their experience. So what was the thing that you were most scared about or nervous in terms of coming into remote year? Like you were like gearing up to do it and you were like, I mean, I was nervous. I don't know, maybe you were nervous, but yeah, I was nervous. nervous. And, and what was the kind of thing that kind of you were most nervous about? Um, I was nervous that I wouldn't be able to do it. Like, right, you know, I was confident up until like a month before I left and then it became really real. <laughs> and I was just like, holy shit, sorry, my left, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Um, <laughs> holy crap, I am about to travel. What if I can't do this? Like, what if I can't manage my finances? What if yeah. I'm just, I'm unhappy and I don't make friends? Like, yeah, yeah. what if I can't? do this like I think I can yeah, yeah. Um, and I think a little part of that is still there yeah um, but yeah I would just I don't know nothing really specific yeah um, but just that feeling of can I really do this and so like now that you're four weeks into it do you feel the same do you feel a little bit less so or do you is that completely alleviated or like no I, I definitely I mean, those doubts are still there a little bit. It's still really new, but um, that just kind of knowing that this great community is here, um, both the staff and the remotes, like having my back and we're all going through it together. Right. It's a little, like, you know, puts me at ease, I guess, because it's like, okay, if he can do it, I can do it. Like, we, we can do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I think that's a great point. Like, we are a group of... 50-ish, 55, whatever it is the number is, whatever the number is. And we are like, it, we are certainly incredibly supportive of each other in, yeah. in this group. And, I, and I'm sure that's not unique to Sandra. I'm sure that's pretty common for every group, more or less. Uh, so we do this kind of really, like, really important and crucial element of supporting each other. And so, uh, I mean, I felt the same way you did in some ways. Like, just like, can I do this? Like, because I had never traveled before personally. Like, yeah. not really. Like, I spent yeah. like a couple of days in London once on my own. But I was like, I mean, London's like America, basically. <laughs> London's like second America. Second America. <laughs> Sorry to Londoners who are <laughs> they're like, hey, what? no, no. But like, I mean, I've never traveled before, so I was definitely like, can I do this? Yeah. Right? Can I be in a country where they don't speak the language that I'm comfortable with? Mm -hmm. You know, and and the currency that I'm uncomfortable with, and like all these things and. So I certainly had that concern personally as well. I think you're not the only one. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. I think like you, like I'm, I feel better about it. I feel more confident than I did before I left because I've had an easier time than I expected here and being a part of this community and this culture and this, this people of Croatia. Um, but I think, uh, I think it's still, definitely still a little there. Yeah. <laughs> so what's been your favorite experience so far? a tough one it's all been really great um i would say the tracks weekend was actually really awesome i was pleasantly surprised not that i didn't think it would be great yeah um but it was just it was a really cool way to see the city um and get outside of the city a little bit and and be in like a smaller group setting to get to know people and yeah, yeah. to not have to plan anything yes yeah. To get, just to give a little more context to what Tracks Weekend is. Oh, yeah, I guess we didn't know that. Tracks, for people who don't know what those are for Remote Year, one of the things that Remote Year uh, gives us, um, as uh, this is a paid service for them, uh, for us, um, is that they will plan uh, four different tracks for uh, the group of people in each location that we go to. And the tracks are, de are designed to um, give us an experience with the local culture, the local people, the local uh, language in some cases, local dance, like, I don't know, whatever it might be. And so for me, on my track, I had was um, about um, 
tasting uh, some of the uh, uh, Dalmatian sweets they have. Dalmatia is a part of uh, Croatia, also where the Dalmatian dogs are from, by the way. Fun fact. Um, so we got to have like a private chef, and we went to his like this super cool kitchen, and he like cooked this pro cooked this like really interesting sweets. Uh, that were like super delicious. Uh, they were fantastic. From what I hear, I didn't actually try any myself. I was good. sick that day, unfortunately. They were but, really good. But they, were, they looked amazing. I'll say that. I didn't get to taste them though, unfortunately. Uh, and I went horseback riding, which was cool, uh, with some of the horses from Game of Thrones. Just throwing that out there. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> I think everyone's been humming the Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones yeah. theme song. I mean, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I have too. I'm officially a Dothraki, member of the Dothraki clan. Nice. Now that I've been on a Dothraki horse. Hey. So, just bragging. <laughs> <laughs> but what was your track about? Like, what was your track experience? Track four. Track four? Um, so, we went biking around the city. We went around Majan Hill. Um, then we went up it, which was a bit of a hike, but it was totally worth it. Um, and then... We got ice cream. We did some cliff jumping, which was super cool. I did it twice. You did it twice? I did. Is, is this a different cliff jumping? The, the, yes. Yeah, okay. We yeah. went, okay. Different cliff jumping than what we did as a, as a, as a larger group slightly later smaller. on. Slightly smaller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, here. I didn't go first one. I'm telling myself it was good. Um, and then we actually went river rafting one of the days. And then after our river rafting you know, was over, we kind of walked up the hill and we got to hang out with this wonderful older sweet couple, and they cooked for us um, a traditional Croatian meal, and you know fed us a bunch of wine, and we got to talk to them, and it was it was really wonderful. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, have you had a moment thus far where it was just like a completely surreal moment where you're just in complete like disbelief in a way that this is now your life, like you know what I mean? Like several, I think, but. One that sticks out to me, actually, is my second night here. Really, it was like my first night, because the first night I came home, I, got, I landed late in the night. I went straight to my hotel, because I got here early, yeah. um, and just went to sleep. Um, but after my first full day, um, that night, I went out with a couple of people from not our group, um, and we went out, and we went for a night swim. Um, and because I, I was here working late and everyone, you know, they walked in, they're like, hey, who wants to go for a night swim? And I was like, all right, fine, sure. Night swim um, in a pool? No. No? In the Adriatic. <laughs> in the Adriatic Sea. Yeah. Obviously. Literally. Right there. I don't know. What is that? 50 I yards away? It whatever it is. I think it's like, it's like 200 meters. 200 meters from right? our co-working space? Yeah. yeah. I looked it up and I can't remember. I think it's yeah. maybe like 200. It's I don't know. pretty amazing water. It. You can see it. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, so we went out there, we went for a little swim, um, and it's just kind of, it's so salty, you just float without any, without trying, you don't even have to like... Yeah, you don't even need, <laughs> you don't even um, need to swim, you just like just, lay out. Just lay. And <laughs> I was laying there floating, looking up at the sky, and it was just like beautiful stars, and then just had this moment, and I was like, wow, this is my life now. And I had been wondering, you know, I knew that most of the programs come to split their first month. And I was yeah. like, why is that? Like, there's got to be something about this place. That, yeah, like, yeah. And there are several things about that place. Yeah. But in that moment, you know, I was laying there and I was just like, this this is why. Like, this is incredible. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was super. And, I, and it was like my first night. I was like, oh, my God, I've only been here for like 24 hours. What the hell? <laughs> and then the next morning I tried to, like, write about it in my journal. And I was just like, Oh, geez, how am I going to keep up with this? <laughs> it's literally only been a day. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was a bit surreal, but amazing. Yeah. I had, a, I had a surreal moment. Actually, coincidentally, it was with you, of all people. Aww. Oh, me. You and I went hiking up uh, Mount uh, Mozor, mm -hmm. M-O-S-O-R, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Sure. And um, uh, it was just, like, stunning, like, I mean, you could see the like the town of Split. You could yeah. see like the Adriatic Sea. You could see like this huge mountain range. It was just like a beautiful day. And we were like, I don't know how far up we were, but like we actually drove up a good portion of it yeah. just because it's like so ridiculous. Yeah. Um, but we were so high up, and then you had found this like just rock, this mm -hmm. big rock that's just sitting, sitting on the edge of like a cliff, basically. <laughs> and and you just were just chilling there, and you looked so serene in that moment. And so I just like I want to go and hang out with Jess right now. You know, so I came over and I sat down with you, and, and we didn't even like really talk, which is mm -hmm. actually awesome. 
and we just kind of sat there and we kind of looked out over like the, the skyline and, and yeah. like everything. And it was just like this moment of awe of like, this is so beautiful, it's such a beautiful moment. This is such yeah. a like beautiful place. And like, I can't believe that I'm here right now having this experience. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's yeah, ridiculous. You just want to sit and soak it all in. You, yeah, exactly. And that's what we, we sat yeah. there and we soaked it in for probably longer than we should have. But <laughs> yeah. like, but it, around, where's our group? Yeah. <laughs> Where did everybody else go? Caca! Like that. <laughs> so, what do you miss most about your old life before joining Remote Year? People keep asking me that yeah. and then laughing at me when I pause for a really long time. <laughs> and I like, including people back home, they're like, what do you miss most? I'm like, uh, they're like, really, Jess? You don't miss us? I'm like, well, obviously. Obviously. Um, I miss, obviously, I miss my people. Yeah. But, you know, it's, with technology, it's it's pretty easy to keep in touch with them if you make the effort. Yeah. You know, there's time difference, but. Yeah. You can send emails. Are you uh, Skyping or anything like that with your. A little bit. Friends and family back home? Yeah, Yeah. a little bit. Mostly just my mom. Um, Cute little dog's running by, sorry. ADD. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, I'll I'll Skype a bit with my family. Um. Google Hangouts. Yeah. You know, and I like will text a little bit here and there. Um, you know, one friend or email pen pals. It's yeah, you know, it's pretty easy to keep in touch. So I don't really I miss them, but it's not like oh, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> uh, definitely not. But I miss I also miss feeling like comfortable in my routine. Mm-hmm. But at the same token, I'm happy to be uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. And not have that routine because it's forcing me to look at my life and like my priorities and you know just kind of self reflect in a yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I kind of miss that comfort of you know waking up at the same time every day, yeah, and going yeah. to work and doing it, and knowing where I'll be at any given time. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Um, and now it's just like I don't have that that routine, but I I enjoy yeah, yeah. learning from not having. Yeah, routine. yeah, yeah. So if you could talk to your younger self like a month back, a month ago, yeah. what would you say to yourself a month ago? Chill the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> really. I was, I mean, I wasn't even anxious about anything in particular. Yeah. I was just like freaking out. I mean, I, I was worried about, there was things, you know, but I, w- I wouldn't listen, but I would tell myself <laughs> to don't freak out. Don't sweat the small stuff. Like, it doesn't matter if you pack the yoga mat or if you don't pack the yoga mat. It'll all work out. <laughs> you can buy what you don't need, you yeah. know. Um, it's, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, like, you just, no one can pack perfectly. Like, no yeah. one can figure it all out. Like, there's yeah. no, there's no way to be emotionally, mentally, physically, like, fully ready for right. this experience. Right. Um, and you're kidding yourself if you get here you think you are. So, yeah, just... <laughs> Just relax and let it happen and it'll all work out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's definitely true. Um, I mean, I, I think a lot of people, the tendency is to get pretty, like, intense or, like, yeah. nervous and all these things. I have a basket case. Yeah. <laughs> but, you, you, I mean, you said it right when you said that, that no, you cannot pack for this thing 100%. No. Because you, there's so many unknowns about this experience. Yeah. And that you, that you don't know what's going to happen and you don't know what you're going to need and to a certain degree and if you need something you'll find it here yeah. as long as you, you don't leave behind your passport right you know, <laughs> yeah. you, you, anything else you could probably deal with pretty easily just bring your passport that's what I finally just like I had packed like two weeks before and I was overthinking everything and every day I would open my suitcase and like unpack some stuff and repack it and like <laughs> stand there in my room like freaking out and finally I was like zip the suitcase up don't look at it don't open it if you have your computer and your computer charger and your passport, it's fine. It's yeah. fine. Everything else can work yeah. out. Yeah, everything else falls into place. Yeah, or yeah. you just, you know, buy it. Just buy it when you get here. <laughs> <laughs> so how was uh, the, the, we are in the co-working space for Croatia now. This is called WIP, or Work in Progress. How do, how's your experience been here uh, working in this co-working space? It's great. Um, because it is like, owned by Remote Ear, um, it's nice because we can be a little bit more comfortable here, like feel right at home. I mean, after like day one, I felt right at home, probably yeah, too yeah. much, walking around barefoot, just yeah, leaving yeah. my stuff here. Um, but it's nice, especially, you know, on the first month when we're getting to know each other. Um, it's it's a really good 
space to be in you know people are always in and out and it's a really yeah, yeah. good I mean it, obviously it's good because we have reliable connection and we can do our jobs that's the important part right right that's what I tell my boss um, <laughs> kidding I actually do work <laughs> <laughs> he's but, looking at us right now and he's like shit <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, but no, so it's, it's, it is good and you can definitely sit and get your work done. But, yeah. you know, when you're done with your work for the day, you, maybe you're walking out and someone's also walking out at the same time. Yeah, or, yeah. you know, you want to take a lunch break. You're like, who's hungry? It's it's a really good, like, social lubricant. You know, it's, it makes it easy to meet each other um, and just to get to know each other. Uh, and, you know, everyone's kind of in and out. It's, it's a yeah, good yeah. space. Yeah, I totally agree. The space and is the actually... coffee. <laughs> and the coffee is really good. Coffee. <laughs> no, the space is actually fantastic. Like you said, it was it's managed by Remote Year in this mm-hmm. particular location. That's not true for all the locations, right. but that's true in Croatia and yes. a couple more, I think. Um, but it's the the internet here is really really fast. I did. I'm a nerd, so I had to do a speed test. It's 75 meg- megabytes down, 100 up, which is pretty impressive. It's one of the fastest it internet. Works. It works really well. It's great for <laughs> video calls if you gotta do that and that kind of stuff. The internet back at your my apartment isn't as fast, which is, but it's still yeah. totally usable. I watch YouTube yeah. videos and yeah, I you know email and I do the my boss. yeah do whatever you gotta do. It, uh, but it's the the space here is fantastic, and the fact that we're like just you know, right whatever how like across the street is is the Adriatic Sea, and, it's, mm-hmm. and which is like just this beautiful clear water. Uh, I think actually one of the the uh, clips in the in the in the in the video. Uh, is actually my feet going into the water right over here. But like, yeah, it's actually a fantastic uh, co-working space. They do a great job managing it. Um, there's great coffee here, as we mentioned uh, earlier. Uh, and we hold events here as well uh, at night sometimes. Like we have games and that kind of stuff. 190 meters. 190 meters to the to the ocean, not to the uh, sea, rather. It's, it's pretty awesome. And a lot of people, they just like, you know, Working and then they just take a break and they just like go for a swim and like <laughs> yeah I did that hang the other day and, yeah I was like oh, I'm gonna take a lunch break you know lunch break meaning it was like 12 p.m. Eastern time yeah really I just went for a swim and I came back and my boss video chatted me later he was like why is your hair wet and I was like uh, <laughs> you know that lunch break? Out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great afternoon swim <laughs> How is uh how you've been doing with the the work life balance here? Like, have you struggled like trying to find that balance between like being engaging socially with the people here and going out like having food and drinks and doing all the fun stuff that we do, mm-hmm. and also like trying to get your work done? You yeah, know? it's so I you know my job before I left Atlanta was I had a great work life balance. Um, the account I work on you know within my company it was great. Um, I went home, you know, I work 40 hours a week, sometimes a little bit more if we're really busy, but it's good. It was a good work-life balance. Um, And then I came here and I realized that my life at home was really not that interesting. And so (laughs) the work is the same. Um, You know, I still have the same workload, maybe a little bit different, but pretty much the same. But, you know, there's like work and life and now life is just like way more interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So I think it kind of, you know, puts things, puts work into a different light. Um, but, you know, it's week four and I feel like I'm already getting into the, the, the rhythm of things. Yeah, and it's, yeah. you know, it's, I'm enjoying having that freedom to wake up and get three hours of work done. Even if I just start at noon our time, I can get log on and do three hours of work before, you know, my, my people are even in the office. Yeah. And then that allows me to take some breaks throughout the day. And it just kind of allows for a little bit more freedom yeah. um, and flexibility in that. And um, I really like that aspect of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would be lying if I said it wasn't tough to, you know, say, no, I, I can't come for a swim. I have, you know, I have this meeting. You know. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely a, a learning curve. Uh, Jess, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today and have this conversation. It's been like really interesting and really helpful to have the conversation, so I really appreciate you taking the time to do of so. Of course. Happy to help, Chad. <laughs> I'm happy to help. You're the first person I actually met of our group. So. Was I really? Yes, you were. Oh. Yeah. Always happy to, Good to know. help my, my first Sonder friend. <laughs>